Hello everyone, this is uh, Inspire 2016. So we would like to give you a free tarot card reading for everyone. So the way we want to read the card is using the six card uh, major arcana layout. So the first card will represent how you feel about yourself right now. The second card will be representing what you most wanted at this moment. And the third card will represent your fears out of the situation that you have been going through. And the fourth card will represent what is going for you. And the fifth card will represent what is going against you. And the last card will be the sixth card represent the outcome according to your situations or the questions that you ask. So all of the spread will be presented based on your zodiac signs, that means your sun sign, rising sign, your moon sign or whatever sign you have as the one that you hold dear in your deepest heart. So let's begin the reading. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get uh, instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks. Hello Capricorn. The first card for you is representing how do you feel about yourself. Your card is the Fool. You feel discontent or uneasy and feel a need for a change in your life, a new direction, perhaps even an adventure. You might not know where you want to go, just that you don't want to stay where you are. It's a time for optimism and the major decisions. Unexpected influences could have a powerful effect on your decision making. Ask yourself, is what I desire really the right thing for me? The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the world. You're most likely looking for a successful conclusion after all your hard work and the arrival of the world in your reading here suggests that's either happening now or just around the corner. This is a time for completion and satisfaction. The final chapter is here and now. You've done your best and won through. The third card for you is representing your fears. Your card is the hanged man. You fear letting go, yet this place of limbo and indecision is not a good place to be. Are you being emotionally blackmailed so you don't leave? Don't be the victim. Sometimes we have to have the strength to let go to attract new positive possibilities into our life. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you? Your card is, the magician. If considering any new enterprise or relationship you will find the self-belief, confidence and ingenuity to make it a success. Perhaps you desire a promotion or pay increase at work. You may strongly and truly believe that if you were to choose to work for yourself you could be prosperous. Go for it. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you. Your card is the Empress. There are conflicts around you, frustrations and possibly a breakup in a relationship. Be careful not to overreact and become too protective or dictatorial about your needs, and whatever you do, do not resort to emotional blackmail, it won't do you any favors. You may be experiencing infertility problems or an unplanned pregnancy. If so just know that there are people around you who love and care for you and will provide support. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the justice. Justice will be done. Decisions will go in your favor, particularly regarding partnerships or eagle matters. Now is the time for some good luck and reward for your good deeds in the past. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get uh, instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks. <laughs>